Hi there, welcome, welcome to this video. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to call this video. I know what I'm going to tell you about. I'm going to tell you about my experience with celery juice. Um, and the reason I am sharing that mainly is because I want you to have an example of what kind of comes together when you learn to trust your inner being, your body, your energy, your feelings, your activations, all that kind of stuff. And how when you are trying to gain body confidence and trust in your body, that this is actually a really key piece. And we as people follow lots of experts out there and we follow that person who is expert in this and this person who is expert in that but you are the expert in your body and you know how something makes you feel you know how hearing a fact makes you feel you know that you are the expert in your body but the problem is is that we've learned to not trust what we know. We've learned to not trust what our body tells us through feelings and through energy. So this is partly a, a kind of story around celery juice and it is partly a story around following your own inner guidance, okay? So celery juice, okay? Big health thing out there, right? And I've watched people having it, I've watched people drinking it, I've watched people taking it for years now. And I've kind of trusted in this idea that it is a really good thing to do. Now, I used to take lots of supplements and when I started to really dig into supplementation, what we're putting into our bodies and lots of things. So there's the toxic load that I talk about quite a lot and wanting to reduce that. There's my cancer load that I talk about quite a lot and wanting to reduce that. And when we're buying these kind of, these supplements that are concoctions of different extracts and then we're mixing them with another supplement which is a concoction of different extracts you have you don't know how those are loading up on your body and what they're doing and when I really started to dig into that I started to step away from supplementation and I wanted to bring in food as a supplement okay so celery juice was one of the first things that I came across and At the time, when I came across celery juice, the idea of juicing was like, and I think there's a lot of people who feel this, that the, uh, the, the kind of, the taste, the texture, even though it's juice, so it's like water, the texture, there's something about it that just makes you feel a bit, it makes my throat kind of almost close up when I think about it. Um, Anyway, so when I first started trying to bring celery into my diet, I started by eating celery. And my decision at the time was to eat four stalks of celery before every meal so that I was getting some celery in um, before, like not on an empty stomach exactly, but to help like getting it in before my body started to digest whatever food I was about to eat. So that was my decision and that's what I started to do. So while I was preparing breakfast, for example, I would be chewing on my stalk of celery. While I was preparing lunch, I'd be at my celery. And while I was preparing my evening meal, I'd be at my celery. And oh, it just kind of faded. It just kind of faded. I just, it just, I don't know, which suggests to me, first of all, that uh, is it the right thing for me if, it just fades away but I was still craving right ever since that you know there's like a saltiness to celery and it's it's like a I can smell it the smell of celery literally makes me kind of it's like a proper craving like you know like you know if you think if you imagine the taste of chocolate and you're kind of like oh yeah I'd like some chocolate I get that with celery. When I imagine celery, the smell of celery, it makes my mouth water. And I'm like, I need celery. 
And I know that sounds insane, but my body is telling me. Celery, it's telling me. So let's fast forward a little bit um, to around kind of, I think it was about October-ish last year. And I started going down a soup kind of, a vibe for soups. I wanted soups. That's when I brought in my green soup that I have for my breakfast every morning. Um, at that time, I was having like butternut squash soup for my dinners. I was really into soup. And when I did a little bit of a kind of asking of myself, why? What's going on here? Why? And it was all about digestion and it was all about my ability to digest. And I really needed to help my body to really get nutrients out of food. So therefore, it needed to be soft when it entered into my digestive system so that I could get everything out of it. And this, honestly, this came through literally just by asking myself the questions. The knowledge just started to spin around my head and it was there. And the celery thing kept coming up for me and the idea of creating a celery soup came through. So literally, um, a bunch of celery chopped up in my soup maker with nothing but water and cooked in my soup maker, creating like a celery soup. And at the time I was questioning myself because I've read a lot about celery juice and a lot about, um, I followed the medical medium. I know where he comes from, from celery juice and how amazing it is at impacting um, chronic, immune, chronic autoimmune issues, chronic fatigues, just general health. Um, so, but he says it's because there's a cluster of salts that only come through when you juice it. And he says it's that cluster of salts that is the healing part of the celery juice. And I was like, so in this conversation with myself, I kind of said to myself, but the, the salts are in the juice. And the response I got was, the salts are yet to be discovered. It is a channeling situation. He is channeling health information that is yet to be truly discovered and scientifically tested. So who's to say that that's true? Who's to say that the cluster salts are only in raw juiced celery? And who's to say that that isn't specific to him and the health message that he has to share? For you, you need celery that is easily digestible, digestible, and the other thing that I got coming through at that time was the reason I needed soup was because I was struggling with temperatures. I was struggling with cold temperatures. Of course, juice is cold. So the celery soup became a thing for me for a little while. And I used to have a, a cup, a mug of celery soup on an empty stomach every morning. Um, I'd just warm it up in a pan just so it was lukewarm or warm enough so that it was like the same temperature as body. And that's what I would have. Anyway, slowly, that kind of slowly faded away and I started researching celery juice again, okay? So, started researching celery juice again, got the juicer out this, this weekend, sorted it all out and I did my first celery juice yesterday. And first of all, I was gobsmacked at how salty it was. And I really struggled because I am not a person who puts salt on my food. I'm not salt at all. Um, I really struggled to get it down. I really struggled. Anyway, managed to chug it down, fine. Okay, this is me with all my health benefits. This is amazing. This is day one. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be amazing. What happened yesterday I couldn't put my finger on. I was exhausted to the point of not being here, literally. I went back to bed before work. I tried to have a sleep. I could. I, I slept literally straight away for 15, 15, 20 minutes. That's all I allowed myself. I was exhausted all day. My focus, my concentration, everything. I was just out of it. And of course, you know, 
you force yourself to still do the day, right? Um, I was just like, why am I so tired? Why am I so tired? I slept okay. I haven't eaten terribly. I haven't drunk, drunk loads of alcohol over the weekend. Um, I didn't wake up really. Why can I not? Why do I feel this? Why have I got no energy whatsoever? As it happened, during the day, um, I, had, I was telling the tale about the time that I got stung by a wasp or a bee um, and almost had, well, my body went into a state of shock. So I was stung um, for my first time ever, never been stung in my life. And I was stung like constantly in that a wasp was in a panic or a bee was in a panic situation and constantly stung me. <laughs> like between like five and 10 times before I managed to get it off me. And as that day went on, I went into, I went into shock. I went in, my body was shutting down so that it could process this, this issue. I literally slept all day. It was like, I had the worst hangover ever. Um, it took me ages, like it took me like a day or two to come back round. So I had like a shock against um, the bee. So I was telling someone this story. Um, we were having a good giggle about it because it was World Bee Day yesterday. And so I was telling someone this story about what happened because it was the first time I'd ever got stung and it was only like two years ago. And anyway, Pat, day goes on. Gail's exhausted, like proper exhausted, like proper wiped out, no energy whatsoever. Um, managed to get through the day and then this morning I couldn't put my finger on it because I changed my morning routine as well yesterday so this morning I decided not doing yesterday's morning routine I'm just going to give myself a breather from it and I sat down and started to journal and just journaling on god I was exhausted yesterday I was really exhausted yesterday and then it popped into my head how salty was that celery juice? It was so salty that I really struggled to get it down. Then I started to remember like, you know, when you go for like Christmas a Christmas dinner or a big full on meat fest at somewhere like Fazenda's and your body literally shuts down so that it can process it. I suddenly had the thought that what if my body had shut down so that it could process all of that salt us that that cluster salt that mineral salt from the celery <laughs> i recorded a whole 12 minutes of me continuing to talk about this whole celery debacle and it didn't record so now i don't know what i've told you and what i haven't told you but so um so basically what i'm trying to say with this Look at me kind of summarising it now. Um, I'm just going to kickstart it by summarising it and then we'll see where it takes me. But when I first came across celery juice as a an idea, as a health food, as a health kick, as a health trend, I delayed doing it for ages because it didn't feel kind of right. And then when I did, did, it, when I did do it, I went for eating the celery stalks. And then when it came back up in my world, I went for soup. And then here we are again. I am still beating this drum of wanting to have celery. The mirac miraculous healing powers of celery. So I've now gone for the juice. Now, for me, clearly, that did not work for my body. That did not work for my body. And if I actually look back, let's face it, I've been telling myself that ever since I heard of it, but I didn't believe it. I continued to believe that really I needed these health benefits from this celery, blah, blah, blah. Now, everybody is different. Everybody has different genes. And the chances are that just because celery doesn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you. And this is the whole point of everything that I stand for when it comes to health, when it comes to body, when it comes to all of this stuff. There is not one miraculous solution that covers everyone. There is a little piece of everybody's solution that will create your solution. The diet that's right for you, the food plan that's right for you, the protocol that's right for you. And 
through following these little nudges and trusting these little nudges, this is where I have created my own eating plan, okay? And I will kind of take you through that as I as I ease my way into this, but I really need to just log this whole celery situation for myself as much as anything else. So the other thing that kind of comes through to me at the moment, because when I started, when I started looking into this, because I was like, hang on, have I really got some kind of like toxic shock kind of syndrome, um, like 24 hour syndrome? Um, because my body needs to shut down to process what I've just taken in. Have I really got that? Is that really a thing? So of course you start Googling celery and toxic shock and celery, allergies, blah, blah, blah. And there is a lot of it out there. There is a lot of research into why celery can be toxic when you have too much. So there's this whole but camp of people who are saying, hey, don't eat excess don't drink celery juice don't it's bad for you when you drink it daily it's bad for you in the quantities that are being promoted it's bad for you it's bad for you it's bad for you there's this whole camp over here are going hey this is the thing that solved my autoimmune issues this is the thing that solved my chronic disease there is no right or wrong there is just your level along that pathway okay so as abraham abraham hicks says you know, at every stick, there's a positive end and a negative end. And, you know, you just need to be aware of which side you're on and which side you need to be on. So, so there's a whole camp who are saying it's toxic. There's a whole camp who are saying it's a superfood. It's a health superfood. And I am definitely of the opinion that I'm in the toxic camp. And the more I think about food in the way that I think about food, what I notice is when I think about or when I eat celery, it's effort, right? Isn't celery the one vegetable that as you eat it, you burn as many calories eating it as you do take in through eating it. So it's like a, a, a negative, a, a negative, a neutral calorie intake. And that's because it's quite fibrous, it's quite crunchy, it's quite hard, it's quite, it's quite, it takes some, <laughs> it takes some doing, right? Now compare that to something like, let's pick the other extreme, a melon, okay? Once you've got melon cubes in front of you, they are so easy to eat, you could just eat like a whole melon without even noticing that you've eaten it because it's just so easy to eat. Whereas celery, by the time you've got through <laughs> four stalks, trust me, I know that one, by the time you've got through four, four stalks, you know about it, your jaw, you know about it, right? So what that's telling me is when we use the path of least resistance in manifesting and creating our ideal life, what we say is, the path of the least resistance is the is the, the easy solution, it's the way to go. So what that's telling me is, when I eat melon, there's no resistance. I can eat as much of this as I want and pretty much there's no resistance. So that means I can eat a lot of melon, okay? Now, when I start eating celery, there's resistance, it's harder to eat, there, it takes more effort, um, you know, it's harder to digest, all that kind of stuff. So that suggests to me that the goodness in the melon, I can take on as much of the minerals, the vitamins, the, the nourishment in the melon. However, I only need a small amount of what is in celery in my body because of the two different states. This one, I can easily gorge on it. I can easily eat a lot of it. This one, the only way to physically eat a lot of it really is by juicing it. So that suggests to me that that has resistance. We're not meant to eat it all. We're not meant to eat all of it. We're meant to eat a bit of it. We're meant to get a bit of the goodness from it, not all of it. Does that make sense? Now, when you look at a melon, okay, so the, the majority of it is hydration, the majority of it is water. We're majority water. We need that water, right? So it makes sense. It makes sense that, or it makes sense to me, it feels right to me that when it comes to celery, I, we, 
People vibing with what I say, people who are feeling an activation with what I say, shouldn't be eating a lot of celery. Okay? Now, when we think about our whole ancestral path, this is not, I am not in any way, shape or form saying the medical medium's wrong. I'm not in any way, shape or form saying that the health guru is talking about juices is wrong. I'm not in any way, shape or form saying that. And in fact, you know, I'm quite happy putting pineapple through my juicer and getting pineapple juice, blah, blah, blah. But several celery. Anyway, so ancestrally, our past lives, our ancestors, we all come from a different line. Yeah, okay, at some point, right far back, we might might come from the same organism somehow, but, you know, ultimately, you know, our genes, the coding within us has come through the whole cycle of ancestors that have kind of reached us. And we don't know where those ancestors come from, okay? And when you start leaning into the world of, um, spirituality, energetics, planetary, universal, cosmic this, cosmic that, you know, that you do get kind of opened up to things like the Palladians and and um, oh, the one that Bashar's from. I can't think of them all. I, I forget them. But not only do we have all these past lives leading us back to things like Atlantis, you know, leading us back to those first civilizations, but we also have like past lives and links that lead us back to potentially other planetary life forms, okay? And all of this stuff is coded within us. So I, and the reason I'm kind of talking about this is because obviously um, the medical medium channels, um, I can't think, I can't think where it's from. Can't think where it's from. Oh God, my head's gone. Um, but the channels. So where are we channeling from? Are we channeling from a past life? Are we channeling from our own intuition? Are we channeling from um, a previous kind of life um, for life form? Maybe you know where are we channeling from? Because that impacts you. That makes you different to me. Yeah, we're all human beings, but human beings are made up of so many different things. You know, we're a bit gorilla, we're a bit this, we're a bit that. Some people say we're a bit lizard, who knows? But it comes in from all these different angles to create this whole that is the human being, right? So just because something works for someone doesn't mean it's gonna work for me. Just because something doesn't work for me doesn't mean it's not gonna it's gonna not gonna work for you. And this is the whole point. It is following that intuition, it's following that intuitive knowledge. I could have saved myself a really crappy day yesterday by actually listening to my knowledge and saying, Do you know what? Celery juice is not for me. I know it's not. My body has taught uh, my intuition, my inner wisdom has told me over and over again, it's not for me. And that I can get the nourishment that I need from it through a soup, if I wanna do it that way, or through a couple of stalks of celery. I don't need that glass of celery juice. Somebody else might. I might need something else. I might need a glass of pineapple juice or whatever. And this is the whole point and the whole kind of thing is, following and trusting your own intuition to what you want to eat, what works for you, what doesn't work for you. I could force myself to have celery juice tomorrow and the day after and the day after and the day after. I could. But ultimately, where is that going to get me? Where is that going to get me? Where is it going to get me when my goal in life is to live a feel good life every day? I did not feel anywhere near good yesterday. Not anywhere near good yesterday. I didn't finish the day feeling good. I didn't go through the day feeling good. There was literally like no part of my day that I felt good apart from the fact that I could go, hey, I did my new morning routine and I had celery juice. The rest of my day was like a complete write off. I didn't feel, I didn't feel purposeful at work. I didn't feel fulfilled at work. I didn't feel successful at work. I didn't feel good in my body, I didn't feel good in the way that I took care of the house, I didn't feel good, I didn't feel good in any way, shape or form yesterday. Because I started, because I was in this, my body was literally shutting down all the functions that it didn't need to use there and then so it could process the amount of cluster salts, mineral salts, the amount of celery, the amount of, the, the amount of
I want to say ingredients, ingredients isn't the right word. I put an absolute overdose of ingredients from celery into my body that my body wasn't expecting, that my body has been telling me not to do, that my body has been telling me not to do, that literally overloaded my system and my body had to just shut down everything that it didn't need to focus on that. That meant I wasn't functioning optimally. That meant I couldn't feel good. That meant that my body didn't feel good. That meant my brain didn't feel good. That meant I didn't feel good. That meant I wasn't vibing on the right, on a feel good frequency to bring in more things that feel good. Everything went a little bit to pot yesterday. And all because I didn't follow my intuition and I believed that this idea of celery juice was going to give me benefits that actually I'm thinking about, I'm thinking to myself now, did I even really need the benefits? Because when I focus on living a feel good life, I don't get the joint pains. I don't get the inflammation. I don't get the chronic symptoms that I'm left over with after chemotherapy and radiotherapy. I don't get any of that when I live a feel good life. It's only when I don't live my feel good life that I get that. Is that coincidence? No, it's not coincidence, but it is a whole other video. Anyway, I think I'm rounding up here. <laughs> I just thought this whole experience was so interesting when I started to pull it all together. And because I'm talking to you at the moment about body and about how to get confidence in your body and how, how to trust your body, that I just thought that this would be so, so useful as a little bit of a, a case study case study um, on myself. So there you have it. So celery juice, yay or nay, totally up to you. I'm not the one to tell you that. However, what I will tell you is it's not right for me. And what I will tell you is tune into your intuition. When I'm talking about celery juice, go research it if it interests you. Go find out about it. See if it lights you up. See if it feels right. Okay. Don't ignore those feelings. Follow your feel good feelings. Does this feel good? Hmm, it does feel good. Feels interesting, give it a go. And if it doesn't feel good, walk away. And don't see it as failure, right? Because quite often when I talk to women about things like this, it's like, oh, uh, failed because I only had my celery juice just that once and I haven't carried on with it and I'm just rubbish, I've got no willpower. No, the whole, every single cell in my body was saying, do not carry on with this. That, to listen to that and to take that into account and to pivot from that and make a decision from that, that is not failure. That is power. That is being empowered in my life, making decisions that I can trust 100% because my feelings, my body, my energy is telling me the truth. My mind tells me all sorts of stuff that isn't even mine. <laughs> So anyway, that's where I'm going to leave this. Um, I hope that's been interesting. I hope you found it quite interesting. Um, maybe it's triggered something off for you. Maybe it's activated something. Maybe you've just enjoyed listening. Whatever. I hope if you found this video, it's been somehow enjoyable. <laughs> See you soon.